these are our four outlying barrels. They are 30 gallons each and they dubbed as our seats. And this is our central barrel. It's a 55 gallon keg. It serves as a ballast and as an extra added buoyancy. The twine was layered multiple times for extra support. We went around single barrels and then over two and then all the way across three. That way in case one failed, others would hold. I wanted to see it so bad. <laughs> They're turning the wrong way. <laughs> Look at the lads who's getting ready. <laughs> He's totally ready to get out there if someone dies. He's hitting him in the head. Together. 
Try to make it over here without sleeping. Yeah. Oh, they're only going to get the Calculate the volume of water displaced by the boat and its contents. The boat went halfway below the water line and the total displacement of these barrels was 175. So divide that by roughly 2 and you get 87.5 displacement. Calculate the total mass of the boat and its contents. We figured out that each of these white barrels here is 13 pounds and then this one weighs 22 pounds. So if we add that together, the total weight of this boat is 74 pounds. What should be the relationship between the buoyant forces and the weight of the boat and its contents? The weight of the boat and its contents should be proportional to the buoyant force of the water, which is why the boat floats. How would you improve your design to make it more seaworthy? 